Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest The Wayfinders Pack and we are here in the brand new release of Slough Creek with our pups all seven of them. <laughs> That's a lot of babies you guys this is a lot of babies. <laughs> But, uh, so far, so good. Aiden and Raven had their pups in the last episode and have been doing pretty good about taking care of them. I don't see any danger at the moment. Uh, no, that's just some elk up there. So I think we're still alright. I'm a little on edge because, of course, you never know when there's gonna be a problem. But let's see how our territory is doing, too, because we did just sleep through the night and it's actually... Oh, except for the... That's definitely a wolf pack meddling. These ones are getting a little bit, um, a little bit so weak, but we probably gotta check some of the newer area too, because it kind of seems like these guys are screwing around with our turf. So, we're gonna have to go take a look at that, and I'm watching you guys too. I'm watching you down here. Don't you come messing with this place. So I think that's what we're gonna do today. And if we look at our pups, they're at 70%, so I think... I think so far we're doing, uh, I think so far we're doing good, but we're gonna go ahead. We will send the puppos into the den. Oh boy, we got a problem. Okay. Where, 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 where is issue? Hello? Oh, right here. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Not today. Not today. Get out. I'm gonna give you a warning bite. Get out. All right, <laughs> I had a feeling I could just tell there was gonna be something. So the predator attacks in this are definitely interesting um, and they're a lot less predictable than the old game, but sometimes you just, you just get that feeling that something's about to go wrong. And I think everybody's back in the den, it looks like. Seems like Raven wants to stay home. Ah. Raven, I think I'm gonna call you with, um, because I think we might get into a fight today, and I'm a little bit, oh, that was the wrong howl, a little bit suspicious that there's gonna be a problem. There she comes, there she comes. We're gonna be okay, I think. I just don't want to get into trouble out here alone, and if this is going, yeah, I don't know if it's going down, but yeah, it kind of just seems like some problems are happening so we want to make sure that we get a good hunt in as well and she's at 79 percent hunger right now i'm paranoid after that <laughs> that warning that she was about to starve i'm like my gosh do you remember to eat i, I feel like aiden is like do you need me to take care of you <laughs> he's worried he's worried he, he, he's worried about his uh his mate he's very concerned for her so he wants to make sure she's all right. And I think he might be a little bit, um, a little bit extra cautious of her because of that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, check around up here, try and see what's up with that one that's uh, starting to go down in territory at an unusual rate. I don't know. It might be that they just unclaimed our scent post because that has happened. That happened a little bit in the past, a couple of episodes already. But we do want to kind of be quick about it because our pack affinity isn't going to be up for very long. And um, we want to make sure that we do get the chance to come back and spend some time with the puppos because, of course, they're the, the puppos. It's exciting to get to hang out with them. And uh, we're spending a lot of time on the move, which is kind of how it is when we first get things started. Ah, uh, no, our scent, our scent uh, post is indeed intact. Now, I don't think we're going to be able to mark this. I think if we're going to mark this, it's been too soon because I'm pretty sure we just put this in in the previous day. Hello? Is that wolf scent? Hello? Oh, that's our, that's other, okay. Other, other markings. And I think, yeah, it's not gonna let us, all right. So, let's go ahead and we'll just howl and mark a few things and make sure that uh, we get this back up to a, a more reasonable amount and then eventually we'll be able to mark it. Once you kind of start to fall into a rhythm, things get a lot easier. It um, gets to be a little, little bit, a uh, little bit of an easier time to keep track of things. Hex is still quite strong. Okay, we're back above fifty. Um, yeah, I don't mind necessarily doing that. I'm just a little bit worried because I'm pretty sure that with that sudden of a drop, it definitely seemed like we had stranger wolves messing with it. So I want to get it up to about seventy percent at least until the um, the territory uh, or until the the scent post. 
recovers. So now what we've got to do, we probably want to be down, oh, we probably want to circle around because we kind of want to hunt in the area. There's nothing that specifically needs marking per se, but we kind of want to keep an eye out and see if we can, oh, here's some mule deer. Never mind, I lied. Oh, I lied because there's mule deer right here. We can go ahead and hunt. This seems to be quickly becoming Aiden and Raven's favorite prey. Uh, they seem to have had the best luck with it. Although I guess their elk calf hunt uh, went pretty well too. Too bad that uh, the calves are um, not around anymore, I don't think. Uh, it's been a full year since they would have been born, almost. And so I, they're not really baby anymore. And um, the advantage you get from hunting a calf is rather a moot point at this point. So, hmm, I think, I'm pretty sure you don't, oh, hello? Oh, we're out of stamina, I think, or we were low on stamina. There we go. All right, we can go ahead and get some food here. All should be good. We're still doing pretty well on time, though. We're not, don't have too much reason to worry. Okay, Raven is eating, which is good to see. I always get worried. <laughs> I'm gonna be worried about her for a while now because I really legitimately thought she had eaten and apparently she hadn't. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna make sure we eat as well. We're full on food. How is she doing? She's at 96. Okay, we'll back off and let her finish. I mean, we're full already anyway, so... Yeah, I guess she just must have forgotten to eat. But we'll probably... We can probably head back and hang out with the pups a little bit, because I don't think there's anywhere that really... You know, maybe what we'll do is we'll do a little brief path pass through on the territory that's starting to drop and howl just a bit before we head back just to kind of make sure that um, it's not dropping too quickly but I don't know I think those are I don't think that's an indication that stranger wolves have passed through our territory I think they were just like that I think they were a little bit lower than the others so we should be good I think I'm just gonna run over there and we'll catch up with these guys when we get there and, and kind of check in with them it's too early to mark the send post, so I'm just gonna run around and do a little bit uh, of extra marking here. Or I'm pretty sure it's too early to mark the send post, but I just want to kind of buff it up a little bit here, just to make sure that uh, it stays nice and uh, nice and high, and we don't have to worry about any stranger wolves thinking that they might get a little greedy and try and steal it. Okay, yeah, it's above 70, so we'll probably try to get it. There's another den. I swear, maybe this is the one, I swear, because I saw one on, on the last trip too and I couldn't find it. I swear there's, yeah, there's there's a den around here somewhere. Is it at the base of these cliffs? This looks like a den if I've ever seen one. Is this the den? No, it actually isn't. It's over here somewhere. Oh, maybe it's, oh, it's this, I bet. I bet it's this, I bet it's this. Over here. Hello? Hello? That's not the den. Huh. It's very close. Where would it be, though, if it's not right here? Maybe it's more this way? Oh, aha, I see it. Oh, it's over here. Okay, so it is another another rocky outcropping, just the one a little bit further down. Uh, that might not be supposed to happen. <laughs> so again, quick little lesson in bug reporting. If you run into something that you're not supposed to see like that, you can just press F11 and it'll pop up with uh, a bug reporter and you can just send in, hey, I fell through one of the dens and I don't think that was supposed to happen and you can submit it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and if you guys run into a bug in game, I would heavily advise you to do the same because it lets the team know, hey, this is something that went wrong and then they can take a look at it, figure out what happened and fix it. All right, so in any case, we found an extra little den here, hello? Oh, we're jumping off a little cliff. Okay, then. <laughs> um, in any case, we found another little den. That's kind of handy to know. I'm going to continue on our little territory marking foray, and then we'll head back and check in on the puppos and uh, get to say hello to them because it's been a little bit since we've seen them, but they've been doing a good job staying in the den, I think. That little blue arrow that you can see on the affinity bar, which is the blue bar uh, on the uh, left side of the HUD uh, before the pop rinse, uh, that blue arrow shows how likely the pups are to leave the den. So if you want to know when they're gonna come out, you wanna keep an eye on that and make sure you're back before it drops all the way. 
as you can see, we've got a good amount of time before that happens. We're still doing just fine. So we got a little bit of extra time to make sure that we mark these uh, territory hexes and get them up just a little bit extra so that uh, we are able to maintain them pretty well and make sure that uh, stranger wolves aren't gonna come for them. I'm a little bit overzealous with the territory marking, I think. Um, but if you got time to do it, you know, don't don't go. I, if I have time to do it, I'll do it. Um, but it's not necessarily at this point. I wouldn't go out of my way to do it. I just happen to have a little extra extra chance to do it. And so I'm gonna make a quick swing around here and just make sure that it's a little bit topped off, if that makes sense. So. It's not nearly as pivotal. I mean, you've seen how much we've stressed about the territory in 2.7 uh, and how much that governs how Stranger Wolves showed up. And Stranger Wolves are, in my opinion, one of the scariest enemies of 2.7. I think Stranger Wolves and Bears are probably the worst. And well, Cougars are pretty bad too. <laughs> um, but... It, you know, you territory drops below a certain point and, uh, you know, that's it. Stranger Wolves are showing up. And because it's such a small territory, that threshold is not very high. In this, you've got a much bigger territory to maintain. It's a little bit more of a relaxed pace as a whole. Predators don't show up quite as often. You're operating on a larger timetable. It's not as important to keep the territory utterly topped off the way it was in the old game. You can kind of relax a little bit more. And, you know, if it gets below 50%, then yeah, that's when you need to worry about it a little bit more. But uh, otherwise, you know, I kind of just do it as I have the chance. Of, and if I've got the ability to mark a little bit extra, then great. If not, it's not the end of the world. But uh, I think we should be just about back. Yep, still getting used to where the den is. <laughs> but uh, we are nearly there, just up this slope. And we'll go ahead and make sure we say hello to the puppers. If I can find my den. It's like, where did I park the car? Where did I leave the den? <laughs> this is the wolf version of that. Here we go. And here's the babies. Hello, babies. So keep an eye on these little guys. Kind of keep an eye on what their personalities might be. I know we've seen a few that have kind of done some wandering. But we're not going to name them just yet. We'll probably name them after the next episode. Uh, well, we've had a little bit more chance to see their personalities in action and kind of get to know them a little bit better. Because, of course, that lets us determine more fitting names based off something other than just their coat colors, which, you know, I think that's, I think that's great. I love that there's actual personalities in this, because even though you can kind of determine that a little bit in the old game, it's still, like, it's so much deeper here because there actually is a personality component to it. And I love that that's part of the game. I think it's it's so cool to be able to see that. And uh, I'm I'm really glad that they included that because I think it's a lot of fun to get to uh, to get to see actual personalities in action, and uh, it has a lot of depth. And I I just overall I love the amount of depth that uh, the team has put into this game. Like truly, they've done a phenomenal job. <laughs> All right, okay, we've socialized too much. But, like, if you just look around at the expanse of this world, like, it, how big this map is. Like, those mountains that you see, a lot of that is the map. Like, you can go there. It's so neat how much they've put into this, how big they've made this world. How far this game has come from its start. I mean, you know, I've been playing for a long time. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm gonna date myself by saying this. I mean, I remember when the very first, um... Wolf Quest demo came out for pre 1.0, and the difference between then and now is just so absolutely astounding. This has truly been a labor of love. The team has put so much. I, I have I have a ton of respect for them because they put so much into not just making this a great game, but trying to find ways to blend realism with game elements so that it's, you know, it's not a boring game, it's not realistic to the point of there's no entertainment in it. Not, not that that is what realism has to be, Wolf Quest is proof of that. They've done what they can to make it as realistic as possible while still being interesting and engaging to play. And they've done a phenomenal job. <laughs> it's, it's a tough challenge and it's one that they took on incredibly well. And uh, I am super excited to see where they take it from here and uh, hopefully to see what the future may hold for Wolf Quest because every time they 
have managed to exceed my hopes and expectations. And it's really incredible to see. I'm gonna go ahead and we will let uh, Aiden sleep through the night here, and I think we're probably gonna wrap up- well, maybe we won't sleep just yet. We'll wrap up after we sleep because it is getting to be about that time. How is- actually, how is everybody- everybody's pretty full on food, right? Yeah, everybody's doing fine. <laughs> so, and what are, what is the weight? I just opened it and I did not look. So, everybody but everybody's above 6 except for 2F and 3M. 3M is our runt. Um, so pretty pr do everybody's doing pretty well, it seems like. And we have to get them as a reminder to 15 to be able to start the journey to the rendezvous site. That's just a log, I think. There's something I'm looking at in the distance, and I I always get a little bit paranoid because it can be kind of tricky to see the predators in this. Um, they don't show up as obviously. I think you- I feel like you have more time to deal with them. They don't show up as on top of the pups. And there's, of course, the predator alert that you may have noticed with the coyote uh, at the beginning that pops up under the HUD when the predator comes in, so you have a little bit of extra warning rather than just being able to see if there is a bear standing on my den. <laughs> um, so I feel like you have more time to deal with them. They're less... 2M? No, we're not doing this. Um, they're a little bit... Uh... They're both easier and more difficult to deal with, it feels like, because you kind of have more time to react to them, but they can be harder to spot. So I think we are going to go ahead and wrap up here, though. We will uh, let Aiden take a bit of a rest. We will uh, go ahead and let him sleep through the night, and then we'll pick up the episode with the next morning. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.